The big story, grilled on Capitol Hill. Luana Simon resigned as MSU's president in January, but the questions over how she and others at the school failed to stop the largest sex abuse scandal in sports still linger. Seven investigator Ross Jones is here now with the questions Simon faced on Capitol Hill and how she responded. Ross? Heather, good evening. The hearing lasted just under three hours, and one of the first questions Simon faced wasn't about Larry Nasser, but about his former boss, Dean William Strample, who appeared in court today for his own sex abuse case. Uh, Strample uh, is apparently, uh, which came out uh, during these flags, an individual known for lewdly complimenting female students' anatomy as they walk through the halls uh, of campus, among other things. Is that correct? Uh, Senator, uh, the provost uh, it does those reviews. I personally did not see the, um, uh, the survey results at the, which you're focusing. For the first time since she resigned as MSU's president, Luana Simon faced questions from lawmakers on Capitol Hill over Larry Nasser, his former boss, Dean William Strample, and the school's failure to stop sexual assault. Simon blamed, in part, a hesitancy to report suspected abuse without concrete proof. It's very hard, if I feel like I, something's not right, for me to say it without evidence. Yep. Okay, I mean, that's the, 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 the unintended consequence of our system, and we've got to find a way to lower that barrier so more people can be wrong when they report, as opposed to having to be so right when they report. Simon was also questioned about why she failed to review a 2014 Title IX report into Nasser's alleged abuse. It ultimately concluded there was no finding of abuse, but said there should be changes to how Nasser treats women. I do not normally see any Title IX report, uh, uh, particularly one with no finding. They're sent to the responsible administrator, and in this case, also to the Office of the Provost. You said you didn't see one. Did you ask for the report? I didn't ask for the report because it was simply, I don't know why she gave me that notice. Simon did give answers to every question she was asked. The same cannot be said for the former head of USA Gymnastics, Steve Penny. He appeared at the start of the hearing, but refused to answer any questions that senators posed, invoking his Fifth Amendment rights. But as it comes to Luanna K. Simon, it almost sounds like in her testimony, the buck often didn't stop with her. Well, she certainly, uh, it was uh, for the moments when they asked a lot of questions about uh, things relative to MSU today, she certainly said, I'm not there anymore. I've got nothing to do with that place. Uh, I did notice there were some survivors in the audience. I'd be interested to see what they thought of her answers. Yet she's still being paid. She still has office space. She's still part of the MSU community. And a lot of people aren't happy about that. Yeah, for sure. Ross, thank you. Thank you.